So back in design model for a bit of preparation, further preparation. We already have applied symmetries. Um, what else we do? We fill the pocket, uh, but there is a little bit more we can do to prepare the analysis, even but to improve the analysis, as we discussed previously. So you know to do that, I need to essentially split that phase. Here, maybe there as well, not sure. And also maybe I would like to split it here too. So how to do that? Well, I'm gonna select the plane and design on it. I can zoom on it. Okay, so that in order to do that, I am going to um uh, I go if I enter sketching, automatically that will create that will create um a new plane. See, sketch it. So the new plane and a sketch inside it. Now somewhat and that's something I don't specially like the model, but it depends why I clicked first to click uh, to select the plane. So if I want to modify that, make it put it more into on the middle, for instance, I need to edit the sketch and I need to edit first. Maybe more in the middle. But you can see how it changes changes the old origin. Now it does not need to be exactly in in the middle we need to, uh, because I, I just want to split it and to have a to have a vertex really. I haven't found really a nice way to automate to, to, to select planes properly with respect to a curved a curved faces. Exactly per, per, there are ways, there are ways, but it's all complete a bit tedious. And it doesn't matter here anyway. So I have done that. I'll go back to my I'm on sketching. I need to it will complain because you want it to generate. But you also need to generate planes if you have, if you modify them or if you start from scratch. Now it's complicated, I just go my line. And I create a line that is vertical, and that's it. That's my sketch. And then what will I do? Well, you might remember that in tutorial one, I think we used uh, extrude sub feature called. So we change the operation. And we change it to imprint. But unfortunately, this is not available for models imported from, from Parasolid, as far as I can tell. So we can't use that. We need to kill that extrude. But what we can do, there's another tool that works well, and that is a so-called the tool as well. Yeah, it's a face split. So face split needs because a face. I'm gonna say it's a face. Apply. And the geometry, tool geometry. The tool geometry is of course going to be my, my line. Now I can't select it here because for some bizarre reason it has gone to um, a vertex selection filter. So I need that on I need the line selection filter in the plant. Okay, great. Generate it, of course. And make sure I double check. And yes, I have cut that. Which is good. Now, having done that, I also need, I would like to as well, to cut that, that end. Yeah, add, add a line as well. Just to be able to work on that as opposed to, uh, to here. Again, it doesn't need to be ultra precise, but it might. It does help. So, take that face. And I will sketch that. And um, yeah, there's that. Now I need I need to have some uh, some, ref some some reference geometry. I think so. I'm going to create a line here between. So let's make sure that we are flat. Am I on the right side? Yes, I'm on the right side. So flat again. Ah, bit tedious. So zoom. Here I am. I'm going to land it at that point and at that point as well. Horizontal, of course. Fabulous, and I'm also going to create a construction point. Which I, now, now I, I could be I have to be careful here with that with that line because it does not that one is based, is not necessarily and what so I'll put it here. And then I'm going to use a constraint, which is a midpoint, just to be sure between the point and the line. Now it looks like it's really on it. I'm gonna zoom it. Mm, yeah, okay. It looks like it, that that is was already yeah, at the center. Okay, that's great. Then I can draw a circle centered here. And that should work. Excellent. So the circle is on now I need to tidy a little bit. And select that line. I don't want it anymore. And the point as well. 
Okay, so let's what is on the sketch. And I've got a full circle, the point. Yeah, I don't want to delete it. Yeah, I can delete not just on the, on the graphics, but also on the details. Okay, excellent. That's done. And let's use that to, uh, to cut, to slice the face as well. So we need to go back to the modeling. And so the plane 18 is the plane which contains the circle. Okay, so let, now let's insert a new tool. It's going to be another face split. So the face split work on that edge. Apply it. And the tool geometry is that. She doesn't want to select again because that's stupid. Filter, apply it. And let's generate it. Okay. Super. And then now, need the right selection tool. Now we can indeed. Play with that. Now I suppose I should break it here as well while I'm at it. So let's select that face. Let's work on it. Zoom it. Sketch and okay, and 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 end line. Yeah, which are done. And finally, modeling tools, face split that face. And that, actually, that line, and generate to check. Indeed. So, I've sort of prepped my geometry to be able to work on it in mechanical. Okay. This is done, and we can go now go back to mechanical and design uh, a mesh that is very really focused on looking at the stress here uh, while ignoring, well, not ignoring, while still doing a decent job further away. Anyway, the need to be gentle because, as we know, we have got an unrealistic fixed boundary here, but it doesn't matter because what matters happened here. Okay, so back to mechanical.